Welcome back to your No Malarkey Guide to Machine Learning. I don't really want to call it that because this is, yeah, we're, we're, we're just getting a little bit, getting our feet wet. Um, but let's get started. So my name is Kalu Kalu. And in the last video, we were able to install some of the basic, some of the basic uh, libraries and dependencies that we're going to need for this tutorial series. So just to make sure that we got those installed, I'm just starting right where we left off in the last video. You know what? Let me start from the very beginning in case you guys have a fresh new terminal. So open up your terminal, and then CD into desktop, and then you should have a folder called linear regression into there. And then you should, in this folder, if you do ls, you should have another folder called linear regression venv. I want you to use source linear regression venv. By the way, I'm pressing tab. Tab is a button above the caps lock. I'm pressing tab, and if that file exists, if that path exists, it will autocomplete. That's how I type so quickly. So source linear regression bin activate, and once I do that, I've activated inside my virtual environment. Now I just want to press Python, and you can see since we created a, use a Python 3 interpreter, right in Python automatically takes us to Python 3. Since we use, uh, chose a Python 3 interpreter when we're creating our virtual environment in our last video. So now that we're here, we're just going to make sure that we successfully imported everything, or we successfully installed everything in our last video. So I want to do import pandas as pd, great, imports numpy as np great import matplotlib as let's do matplotlib.pyplot as plt if all that works then you you successfully pip installed everything if it didn't work then just go back to the last video and, and, and check to see where you got that wrong or maybe just start all over it just takes a few seconds to create a new virtual environment new folders and pip install everything else all right, so we're going to get started on this project. What are we doing today? What, what, what are we going to be working on? So we're going to be working on linear regression. It's the name of the folder probably gave away. And it's the same thing that you guys were doing in high school. It's really exciting that I'm just going to be refreshing all those great high school memories. I remember I was learning this in, 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 in a class with Eddie. Eddie, shout out to Eddie. And Dominique, I think, was also in that class. And I think I remember uh, maybe Charday. I'm mixing, I'm mixing names. I apologize if I really just butchered your name. But so this is my memories of I remember just doing it as quick as possible. That way me and Eddie could, could speak basketball. And I remember some kids just didn't pay attention at all. And I was like, yo, I want to I want to chuck and jive as well, too. But I'm going to do this as quick as possible and, and do it so I could get maybe a B. And then afterwards, I'm going to just chat with my friends. Now I'm looking back, I'm like, man, if I were to really focus on that, that would have made me a lot of money. <laughs> knowing, knowing that basic knowledge can make you a lot of money. So we're going to try to get people back up on that basic knowledge that we were doing in algebra. And a little bit of statistics as well, too. What is the problem? The problem is, imagine that you have... You play for a rec league. You play basketball for a rec league. And you're playing this, this team. And they have this mystery player who's never played for any of their other team. But they're going to play this, this, this game. This mystery player, he used to play in the NBA. So you guys are really worried. The first thing you guys want to know is how tall is this guy? Like, is he just going to be dunking on all of us? Or is he like more of a, you know, a spot up guard that, okay, maybe, well, both you really probably can't handle if they played in the NBA. But you, you just want to know how tall is this person. So... The general guess, if you just want to guess how tall a person is with no other prior information about the person, we don't know anything about this mystery player, a, a good estimate, a good starting estimate would, would be the average height of a human being. Maybe the average height of a human being is like 5'5". Five five. So that would be a good estimate. You could do a little bit better than that. You could think of a more precise class which this person belongs in. He's not just a human being. He's a male human being. So this will give you a more precise estimate. Maybe the average height of a male is like maybe 5'7 or something like that. I don't know, 5'6. Um, but you can get even more precise as we know this game. I'm not going to uh, um, insult your intelligence. So the, 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 the more important class he belongs to that is really important and this skews all our data is that he belongs to the class of former NBA players, right? So they're taller than the average male. So we, re we really want to get some data on the average NBA player's height. That's a very good place to start with. So in order to get this, let's calculate the average NBA player's height, and that'll be a good guess for how tall this person is. So the first thing we need to do is get a data set for NBA players. Where can we get that? I know exactly the place. Don't worry. I got you covered. I'll provide a link in the description, but for now, all you need to do is, if, you're, if, you, if your eyes are really good, you can just copy this a URL address, otherwise I should provide a link in the description for you. 
So just go to this URL address and you should search MBA. This has a whole bunch of data sets. It's awesome. We're going to click on this CSV and save it. And then we are going to, I'm going to open a new terminal. And in this new terminal, I saved it to my desktop. I'm sorry, not to my desktop, to downloads right here. And the name of it is, is, is a download is called MBA underscore height underscore weight dot CTV. So I'm going to move that right there and I'm going to move it one. The dot dot means once one directory out and then go to my desktop and go to that linear regression folder and I'm going to move it there. Great. So now that I've done that, I am also going to CD into that linear regression folder and I'm also going to activate my virtual environment. And remember I have another terminal window that I opened up and I'm doing this inside of. So in here I want to do ls and we can see that we have this mba underscore height underscore wt. So I'm going to try to import or try to open this and we can open this using Excel or using Libra whatever they call it for Ubuntu. I apologize Ubuntu I just really disrespected you. I should know the name of your programs but I don't. So we're going to open this. It's a CSV and it's going to look just like data sets you've seen before. It's just an Excel spreadsheet with some columns and some rows. Each row represents every NBA player and some of their data, uh, so some, some specifics about them, specifically their height, their weight, and their age, and the position they play. We're really interested in the height for just now. And it, it's ordered by height, Nate Robinson being the shortest. He's, a, he's, he's not in the league anymore, but you can see this from 2013, 2014. So this is the data set. It looks cool, great, that's what we want. We want to import this data set right here though in Python. That's going to allow us to do a lot more with it. So to do that, we want to open it. Let's call it data, and we want to say, um, pd.readcsv.mba and we're going to just write the name right here htwtcsv and then we're going to press enter we may get an error don't freak out this usually works but we may get an error don't freak out I'm going to press enter ready set go okay we got this oh, this wasn't the error I was expecting this error says uh, file does not exist so that's because I wrote it incorrectly you guys are probably shouting at this TV screen it's a dot not a not an underscore but it's all it's, it's, it's all good let's refresh that and type it again and I'm gonna press enter and we get another error this error is different this says UTF-8 codex could not encode what does this mean oh god this is confusing whenever I get confused we can always search so I'm just gonna uh, search this right here and I'm gonna search we were using pandas and we tried to we tried to I'm just gonna search so I'm, I copied and pasted this error message and then I'm just gonna paste write pandas and then paste it and search and see what I get so I get this first link right here it's a stackoverflow.com link which is pretty good so I'm gonna click on that link and try to solve this error and I'm just going through this with you guys so you, you you know how to troubleshoot some errors and you don't freak out it's not the end of the world you can almost always search everything so this guy says to do this okay let me try that I have no idea what that means but let's see if that works uh, that sounds like some crazy talk but he says to do encoding equals blah 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 so it says oh it takes an encoding option to deal with files of different formats okay let's try that so I'm gonna write that and then after I write the file, I'm going to write encoding equals. And I'm just going to copy this here. Copy and then paste. I can I paste in the terminal with control shift V. So once that's pasted, I'm going to press enter and it works. So now I'm going to write data and press enter here. And we can see what our data comprises of. And it's exactly the same thing as was in this Excel sheet. It's all the heights, the weights, and the, and the ages of every NBA player uh, arranged by height, shortest to least. And this height is in inches. Don't, don't be confused. It's just in inches. So next, why don't we just do data.head? We can do data.head, and we can get out some of this inf information. What is data? Data, let's do type data. Data is a, a, a data frame. And we could have called it anything. We could call it uh, uh, NBA info, NBA heights weights right and then we can do type MBA height weight 
So it's a data frame. I don't want you to think just because we called it data, it's a data frame. No relationship. It's it's a data frame. It's a pandas uh, a data frame, and you don't need to understand what that means more. I'm not going to sit here and and give you an exhaustive, uh, elaborative definition because that does not follow the clue clue principle of learning new method and that's inductive reasoning not deductive reasoning that's doing by examples many many examples and not doing by learning a whole bunch of rules and that's a bottom-up process not a top-down process so we're not going to first teach you what a data frame is we're just going to use it and then we hope that in the process of using it and using it many 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 times you start to get a more intuitive feeling of what it is and at that point you could then look it up uh, uh, and when you look it up, you know you have a more of a context of why it's important. So it's a data frame. That's all you need to know. And we're going to use this data because it's shorter to use. So we could do data.head to print out just the top four rows. That's great. What we want is the average. So we need to do data.average. Mm, let's do mean. That's more the statistical term. So data.mean. And it gives you the mean heights. So the average height, let's see, 79.6. I'm going to copy this, and we're going to paste this, say, inches to feet. And that is 6 feet 5 inches. Wow, so the average height of the average NBA player, average NBA player is 6 feet 5 inches. We got our answer there. Another thing we can do is just heights equals data dot data right here and because this column is called heights with a capital H we can write heights with a capital H and then heights is now only the columns and here is just the index number player number 500 so player number one would be player number zero would be of course uh, Nate Robinson and number one would be Isaiah Thomas and so on and so on so and we can do the same thing we did with heights with data which you do we could do heights dot mean and it'll tell us again that the average height is 79 inches so that's a good estimate but we can do better in the next video we're gonna do a little bit better and we're gonna talk about what type of estimate this is how we can do better how we can use um, linear regression to make a better estimate of what their height is if we had just any more information about them so you guys have done a lot and first we're just gonna visualize this data so in the next video we're gonna visualize our data thank you for your patience it's gonna get better and more exciting you've already done a lot don't start asking too many questions now just keep watching the videos keep watching the videos There's a lot more to come so thank you for your patience I'll see you with the next video